Okay, you could use the formula given, but I find it easier to use an Excel. So I'm going to go through it and give you a series of problems that will help you a lot easier in Excel. You deposit $6,000 in a, an account, earning 7% interest compounded monthly. How much will you have in 10 years? Well, in Excel, there are basically two things um, that you want to uh, find, either present value or future value or payment. Um, or those are the three things that are either given or that you're trying to find. In this, ca in this case, we're trying to find a future value. How much will you have in 10 years? Okay, so, and then you have to make a decision. Are they asking for a payment amount or a present value amount? Okay, you're not making a series of deposits, so it's a present value amount. So the present value amount is 6,000 and the future amount is what we're gonna try to figure out what it is, okay? So you go to financial and you go to future value because that's what we're trying to figure out, right? Future value, okay. Now, the rate is 7%, but since it's compounded monthly, we have to go 0 0.07 divided by 12. Put that right into Excel like that, okay? So these interest rates are always on an annual period. So whatever, however often it's compounded by, we have to divide by. <clears throat> so the periods is the same way, the opposite way. If it's a 10-year period, okay, counting 10 years, since it's compounded monthly, in Excel, we have to put 10 times 12, okay? So uh, the payment, that's blank. So we have, to, we have to put something in either here or here. And you have to read the problem to see which one of these two is the uh, given information in the problem. And of course, it's given 6,000 present value. So that's what it's given. So you put in 6,000 for present value, leave the payment blank. It's not taking it. All right, so it finally took it. I had to stop recording. Okay, and then hit okay. <coughs> Excuse me, there's your answer. And so 12,057.97. So in other words, if I deposit 6,000 now, my present value, earning 7% interest, compounded monthly, how much will I have in, in 10 years? And then the answer is 12,057.97. And again, for the interest rate, you have to put whatever interest rate given, in this case, divided by 12 because it's compounded monthly. And for the number of periods, you have to put number of years multiplied by 12 because it's compounded monthly and the 6,000 for the present value.